back exercises. Not science-based edition like Jeff Nippard, but no, we're doing ego lifting edition. Yeah, I do yeah. Back exercises, goddammit. This is the best exercises to gain strength on and get big as fuck while fucking ego lifting, moving around some heavy ass weight and potentially blowing out your fucking back before I do. Okay, so in this tier list, we're gonna have all sorts of exercises that I did not make this tier list. I searched it up because I'm a lazy fuck right now. So let's fucking begin with every gym newbie beginners a favorite exercise which is the lap pull down that no one can fucking do correctly god damn it no one can fucking do this exercise i'm not sure why i see the most random horrific forms on the planet some people are fucking moving it down to their chest like fucking i'll put some videos up i have a good grip on the bar and i'm just going to bring this down right to my chest level they look retarded while doing it if you know how to do the lap pull down and you're actually like you, you know how to exercise or you know how to do gym then i'm gonna put it into s tier but if you don't i'm gonna just put it into the aesthetics bra category number two we got dorian yates favorite lat exercise which is the dumbbell pullover let's get nasty let's get nasty <sighs> Personally, I don't fuck with this one too much because I do not know how to f the fuck to do this. <laughs> Number two, hyper extensions. Just like Dorian Yates said, for the lower back, squeeze it up. Christmas time now, for the lower back. <sighs> so, it's for the lower back. It's pretty important. So, I'm going to put it into the A tier or the aesthetics bra category. Just so we all know. This, oh sorry, fuck. That, this is the S tier. This is A tier. This is a B tier, I think. C tier. Uh, I don't know. This is F tier, definitely. But, you know, you know, the, the higher it is, the better it is. So, yeah. I don't know what the fuck super, you we're gonna get the random ones out of the way. Super yoke. I have no fucking, oh, it's when those people, what the fuck? 13, 14 feet. All right, Mark, this is Zach Hatch. First to go here. What is this? It's when these people grab this fucking thing and they start like uh, grabbing it. It's some powerlifting bullshit. I mean, it's pretty cool. So I'm going to put it into do you even lift category because you're not even lifting, mate. You're doing fucking some powerlifting bullshit. Deadlifts, goddammit. Deadlifts are G. Deadlifts, people don't like deadlifts because, oh, you know, I, I don't train for strength. I train for hypertrophy. You fuck off, mate. I train for hypertrophy too, but I love a good fucking set of deadlifts. Just putting on as much weight as possible, nearly blowing out my back. Oh my fucking god, that gives me a feeling, man. No, no woman, nothing, no penetration, no anal, no nothing can give me that sensation that a good heavy deadlift does to me. Now, sled pushes. Unless you're fucking Mart Martin Rios training for whatever the fuck he's training for, probably I don't I don't fucking know what he trains for. So sled pushes. A I mean, if you're not an athlete, do you, do you? I'm sorry for your loss. Like, there's no fucking point in doing it. On the other hand, we got plane pool. This is an ego lifting connoisseur exercise. I personally do three sets to failure of plane pool. I basically go on the runway and I start pulling the heaviest fucking plane that I can and you progressively overload by basically grabbing like heavier planes. Like I used to do a B-52 stealth bomber, but now I do like a Boeing, uh, fucking, I don't know, what do you call it? Whatever. Plane pulls are definitely going to the not natty category because you're probably not natty if you do that. T-bar rows, I used to do these a lot back in my day, but... I don't know why, but the centering was... Uh, and anyway, I saw a video of the bar going into the guy's balls, right? So he's doing the row, ooh, 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 like this. And then it just slams up in his balls. And that thing terrified me ever since that day. So I don't know if you... if I like them a lot as well. I don't know where I put it. T-bar rows, yeah, here. I'm going to put it into the A tier category. Or I don't know what this tier is. What's your Insta? Pull-ups, everyone, if you can do 30 pull-ups, you have a huge back, there is no fucking way around it, pull-ups are a G exercise, and I love doing them in front of people who can't do them, because it just breaks their fucking heart, like I'm doing a bunch of pull-ups, and they're like, ah, 
I can't even do one pull up. And then they go on the fucking assisted pull up machine. Like, motherfucker, I love pull ups. And once you can do pull ups, like for reps, oh my god, you just feel like on top of the world. Definitely not natty. Sumo deadlift. Not, you know what, the, there's nothing to really say. Do you even lift? <laughs> uh, single arm dumbbell rows. It's basically the science based version of the normal like dumbbell rows or like the barbell row i mean i've seen people row some heavy ass numbers especially in these old like bodybuilding clips fucking hell it's pretty sexy to do i love single arm dumbbell rows though i've never done them in my life it seems pretty cool to just grab like a hundred like 200 120 pounds and just start rowing it or like 50 kilos and just start rowing it so i'm gonna put it into the this category are you aesthetics bro oh my god i was gonna do this last bro i was saving it but fuck i love barbell rows we doing another workout here today was heavy back day i've nearly gotten to 225 pounds on rows which would be 100 kilos max i've ever done was 97 but fuck my form was horrendous anyway so I don't know why I have a really bad relationship with them, even though I love them to death. Just like the women I talk to, like I, I love them sometimes, but I really have a bad relationship with them. So barbell rows, I I can row heavy, and then one week I just can't. But I'm gonna put it into the definitely not natty category, just because of how sick of a fucking exercise it is. Oh my god, muscle ups. Who the fuck can do a muscle up as a bodybuilder? I have no idea. So, it's for these calisthenics people. Just because I'm a little jealous that I can't do a muscle up, I'm gonna put it into the do you even lift category. But if I could, well, fucking, that would be sick, bro. Imagine doing muscle ups. You poop a lot of pussy. Fuck you if you can do a muscle up. Go fuck yourself. Uh, yoga. I don't know why I'm. There's a fucking, like, snot on my. No, not snot. Okay, so, yoga. I. Who the fuck does yoga to get big? I'm, I'm sorry for your loss, bro. You're wasting your time. If you're doing the yoga for other purposes, good fucking job. But this is a bodybuilding a video, so I don't know. Superman. Oh, this is garbage. I'm just going to put the garbage things here. Man, make a row. What the fuck is this? Do you even lift? This is some exercise that the wacky sus trainer at your gym gives you. Shrugs. Oh my fucking log god. Shrugs are the best exercise for ego lifters. I don't care if it, whatever fucking muscle of the back it trains or traps or some shit. It's the best exercise you can possibly do as an ego lifter to get massive, massive, juicy, suckable, scrumptious traps. I'm gonna put it into fucking... Oh, bro, whenever I get done with a set of barbell rows, I just get reminded of Kevin Lavroni shrugging weight, and it just turns me on like crazy. I just start shrugging that weight, bro. Fuck. Ah, chest supporter dumbbell rows. I don't, I don't what the, f I don't fucking know. I've never seen anyone with a big back, to be honest, do this shit. Besides, like, unless you give me like one outlier guy, and he probably doesn't even do it. I've never seen anyone actually like enjoy a chest reported row. It just feels like someone is cramping down on your chest, and it just feels like anal penetration. I don't like it. So I'm gonna put the ch chest supported row into nice beginner gains, especially for you, for you weak people. Like, if I'm using. Fucking, if I'm trying to do 100 kilos each hand, and I'm doing a chest-supported dumbbell row, like, that's gonna hurt, bro. And fucking failure, uh, it's just a bunch of bullshit. Seated machine row. We all have seen that clip of Arnold going, like, ooh, ooh, going back and forth. Oh my god, it's just so, so beautiful. So, I'm gonna put it into aesthetics, bra category we're literally like tying between the aesthetics bra and the definitely not natty category each other every time i meet with the lap pullover i just like i just get a fat erection and i i just start pulling it over pretending like it's the woman of my dreams and it's it just it's the best exercise possibly for your lats in my opinion like Especially when you put on some heavy ass fucking weight, you're just swinging the weight to you, and then you slowly let it stretch your lats, and then it's just painful and blood and guts. And fuck, it's just oh my god, I want to do some fucking lap pullovers right now. It's just, uh, <laughs> supporter suspension row. I'm just gonna call this the gay pull up. 
do you even lift, bro? Unless you're some calisthenics dude. If you can't do fucking pull-ups, this is like the level down. So I'm just going to put it into beginner gains category. Finishing off this tier list with seated uh, rows. I don't know what the difference between seated machine... Oh, seated machine rows is that. Yeah, well, the same category. Actually, no. you know what? I'm going to move this up here. And I'm going to put this over here. Because uh, this was the Arnold clip. This one was the... This one, I just really like this one. I just, it gives me the feeling of coming. I really hope you guys enjoyed this motherfucking video. I really have fun making these tier lists. And at last time, it also got me a fuck lot of views. So, I'm gonna do it again. God damn it. So, yeah, fucking love you guys, man. And give me some more views. God damn it. Subscribe to the channel. And see you the fuck later. God damn it.